Good morning, Kawartha Heights. Today is Thursday, May the 20th, and it is day one. Aujourd'hui, c'est jeudi, le 20 mai, et c'est jour 1. We would like to begin by acknowledging that our school is located on the traditional territory of the Mississauga First Nations. Today, we'd like to wish a very happy birthday to Tyson in Mr. Cooper's class and to Brendan in Ms. Housen's class. We hope you both have a great day. There will not be any morning announcements tomorrow, so we'd also like to wish a very happy birthday on Saturday to AJ in Ms. Terlucas's class. This morning, we're going to try and stretch our math brains once again and try another which one doesn't belong. Here are the four images for today. These ones are special because they're all about fractions, which I know most of you have been learning about. Which one do you think doesn't belong? Remember, there's no one right answer. What's most important here is that you share your best thinking. Once we finish our morning announcements, why don't you take a minute to share your thinking with your teacher? Well, we have a few more flat Mrs. Sampson adventures to share with you this morning, and also, might even have one flat kid adventure thrown in there too. First, flat Mrs. Sampson had a busy day at one of our wonderful family's homes playing a new game called What Do You Mean? I wonder if she won. Then she popped over to the Tambor household where she was supervising work on Prodigy. The boys were doing a great job. Finally, the real Mrs. Sampson had to clean up a mess at her house because Flat Eric, Flat Logan, Flat Scotty, and Flat Lillian found the mini marshmallows and started a marshmallow fight. What a mess! Thank you to everyone who's been sharing stories and photos of Mrs. Sampson's flat adventures. Well, here's your joke of the day. What does a cloud wear under his raincoat? Thunderwear, of course. Well, it's time for our mindful moment. So find a comfy place to sit and let's spend a few minutes this morning grounding ourselves. Let your body sink into your chair. Allow yourself to just relax. Take in a few deep breaths and exhale slowly as you begin to relax your body fully. Imagine an extremely cute and cuddly little cartoon turtle. He's not real, of course, but I'm sure you can see him very clearly in your mind. He can stand on his back legs and he has little turtle flippers, big eyes, a funny nook nose and a silly smile. You see a twinkle in his eye. This is the thankful turtle. Isn't he adorable? The thankful turtle is here to remind us of all the things we have to be thankful for, even when our days are sometimes rough. First of all, the happy turtle reminds you that you woke up this morning. Yes, thank goodness you woke up to this beautiful day. Think to yourself how very thankful you are that you simply woke up and you're having the opportunity to experience today. You're also going to learn a lot today. Maybe some things will be difficult and others will be wonderful, but either way, you will know more today than you did yesterday. The thankful turtle reminds you that you can be grateful for all of life's lessons, great and small. And for that, he does a little happy dance and you feel happiness dance into your heart. Thankful Turtle looks at you with a gleam in his eyes now and smiles as he looks up at your strong body. You're reminded that your body has moved and breathed for you today and your body is truly a miracle. Thankful Turtle does another little happy dance and that makes you giggle. He reminds you of all there is to be grateful for, big things and small. He reminds you about your family and friends and everyone at Kawartha Heights who care deeply for you. These people love you just because you are you and you feel so good in your heart knowing that you're loved and cared for. When you're ready, open your eyes and give your body a big stretch. Stay safe, stay kind and stay hopeful 
and let's really try to take care of ourselves and each other today. Have a terrific day, Kawartha Heights.